welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm here with a pick a card reading for you. Welcome to my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed and dropped comments for the specific purpose of winning a free tarot reading from me. Be sure to check your comments, um, check your notification bells because I'm waiting back to hear from my most recent winner. And if you're new to the channel, please drop your comment below as well for your chance to win a free tarot reading from me. I just offer it as a thank you to my subscribers for coming back here and showing me your presence on this channel. I really, really appreciate it. So just drop your comment below any of my readings this month for your chance to win as well. Um, for today's pick a card topic, however, we're looking at somebody who is secretly obsessed with you and where will they take action towards you? So we have three piles today to choose from. Pile number one with the daughter of the sacred heart and the yellow flower. Pile number two with the medicine woman and the orange flower. And pile number three with the beautiful bandit and the purple flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages waiting today from spirit. I'm going to jump into pile number one. And today's topic is all about, you know, who is secretly obsessed with you? Who can't stop thinking about you? Maybe they're watching your social media. Are they going to make their presence known? What action will they take towards you in the future? Pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You were drawn to the yellow flower or to the daughter of the sacred heart. And this is your reading. Who is secretly obsessed with you? Will they take action towards you? Now, the daughter of the sacred heart on, along her head, it says every sinner has a past and every or sorry, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. So there's this aspect here about somebody who has maybe a nefarious past, somebody who's turned their life around, maybe somebody who has struggled with things in the past too. And this could be a myriad of struggles depending on the collective that is watching this reading right now. There could be, you know, prison in their past or addiction or just a negative experience in general that they've had to go through. And there's something about your heart space or the solace that you provided for them in some way. There's just something saintly about you. It's like you're a saint to them. They put you on this really high pedestal and it's like they feel like you can see through some of the negative things that they've done or been through or the cycles that they've contributed to in the past. There's something lovely about the impression that you've given them that gives them reason to hope for themselves. Or it's like you've given them a boost to their ego where they feel better because of your influence because of the things that they've struggled through in the past. There could be even a mirror to what you've struggled with in the past and maybe you've discussed that with this person in some way but this person on some level has had a certain amount of understanding that they have felt from you that's given them hope to think that they're worthy of more so there's just something lovely about your energy and kind of the sunshine or the light that you've brought to their life and you were drawn to the sunflower as well there's just something about how just the light that it's like a light that lights up a room but it's your energy, it's what you give people that gives this them, them this impression that you are a soft place to land or that you are a, a very supportive person emotionally and that you're understanding. Um, so this person feels like you have a deep level of understanding. And I do feel like you, I feel like you have had multiple conversations with this person in the very least. You may actually have a very long standing relationship with this person in some way and it may not be a romantic relationship at this point or anything but you may have known this person from the time you were young or there could just be a long history here between the two of you so let's take a look i'm just going to turn on my light to see if we can get a little bit brighter i'm going to use the labyrinth tarot for you to start your reading so who is secretly obsessed with pile number one please There's also something about the beauty of her. Like she's, and she, you know, she's wearing this veil. And there's like this aspect when we're wearing a veil to try to hide our hair, to try to hide aspects of our, our beauty. And you can't hide it. So even if you dress modestly, even if your culture, you know, in your culture, maybe you dress modestly, that doesn't matter. They still see the beauty within you. It's like there's something you do to perhaps keep yourself a little bit hidden. Maybe you're shy. Again, maybe you're, you dress very modestly. But there's something about you that empowers this person. There's the beautiful sun. Here's the eight of swords. You notice here that the sun, though, is this little child dressed in these striped pajamas. And they're on this rocking horse. And with the stripes, with the red and white stripes, I always think of the fear of loss. And it could, I feel like this fear of loss was instigated in this person in childhood. Yeah, they've been sort of stuck in a certain cycle since childhood. 
And it really has set, I feel like it's set the stage for this person um, in their lifetime when it comes to revealing themselves to you, when it comes to their own empowerment. It's sort of something that happened in childhood with this person or from this person's perspective shifted their gaze about what they felt about themselves, gave them a sense of loss. This could mean that they lost somebody very important to them in, in childhood or they didn't have a lot of support. And I do feel like there could have been like almost an addictive quality to this person's past too because they made like a habit or they, they formed this habit of keeping themselves hidden or suppressed in some way. There is a very strong almost soulmate or friendship quality to this person. This could be somebody that you did come of age with or that knew you when you were young, knew you when you were a child. And they consider you a friend today. We have the temperance. And I feel like there's been a back and forth flirtation in this friendship as well. I hear that song, knock three times on my window if you want me. So maybe there is this aspect of the two of you going to each other's houses as well. You know, being in close proximity, you could have been neighbors. But there's a real reference to nostalgia. There's no turning back for this person when it comes to their opinion of you. They completely have put on those rose-colored glasses. It's like you are one of the few people in their lives that have never disappointed them or who has always been a consistent source of almost like motherly support. And that sounds weird, but it is it is a romantic connection, but almost sounds like a mothering type of energy around you. So you may be like the mother hen of the group, of a friend group, for instance, and this person would be a part of that group. They've been, it's like they've been cautiously trying to tread the water here and cautiously trying to make themselves known for a long time. This person has had obsessive energy surrounding you for a long time. They're stuck on you, literally. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And there's like this, I feel like the two of you have saw each other through different periods of your life that have been struggles or have had a lot of depression or just frustration in general. Because there is this, you're like a source of strength and empowerment for them and this has been consistent through some of the distractions that they've used in their life to distract themselves. They're also, they think that you're gorgeous. Like they just think that there's nothing, there's no deficits in you physically at all. You could maybe be somebody that really works hard on your body too, or, or maybe you don't even need to, but they've noticed about how you've grown. You're no longer this innocent child or something that they perhaps met in the past. You're now full grown. You're a grown woman, you're a grown man. We do have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you have a, a current relationship with this person. They still feel like they still feel like you're a temptation in the present moment and they want to announce that, but they don't feel confident enough to. And sometimes they, they tell themselves that they're not smart enough or that they're not good enough for you. Um, I just got this message that said sometimes they tell themselves that they don't have the sense that God gave a turn up. So that could mean something to you, that saying, perhaps, they're very intimidated by you because they think that you're really smart. They think that you're really intelligent. They think that you're really smart. You have the capacity to hurt them. You know, you have the capacity to hurt them. So they are, because they're showing me Delilah and Samson now. It's like this strength that they actually, that you provide for them. It's like you have the capacity to rip it away. I feel like you've been friends with this person for since childhood. And they've been stuck on you since then. And now they really want to move it out of the innocence and into something more. We have the two of wands with the strength. Could be a Leo energy coming through here. We also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the seven of swords. There is a reference to addiction and attachment. They could just be addicted to you or they could have an addictive energy in their past or have suffered or struggled with addiction a little bit in their past too, especially in their youth. And they go through these cycles where they feel like it's completely unrealistic for the two of you to be together, for the two of you to move out of a friend zone. Like 
they lie to themselves when they do that because they're afraid of that rejection, so it's a way for them to create procrastination. It's like they're waiting for the perfect moment to express themselves to you. Yeah, there's the page of cups with the hanged man waiting for the perfect moment to strike or waiting for the perfect moment to tell you how they feel. The problem is, is that there's never going to be a perfect moment. They have to cultivate that for themselves. The moment will become perfect when they take it. Here's the king of swords, but they have so much they want to express to you. We have the Five of Cups, and they definitely regret getting stuck in some type of friendship zone with you already. They feel they sometimes when they're dealing with this ego energy that's telling them it's unrealistic and they can't have a chance with you, when they're stuck in that focus, they convince themselves they're already too late, that you don't support the connection, that you won't want a, a relationship with them, but they are the solution to reaching the goal here. They are the solution. We do have the High Priestess and we do have the Seven of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. And the truth is, Spirit says you know who this person is and you've known that this person has had feelings for you for quite some time too. It's like you're sitting upon the truth of the situation and maybe you're waiting for them. Maybe you struggle in ways that they don't even realize to express yourself equally back towards them as well. And again, maybe you're waiting for that perfect moment or waiting for them to arrive at the perfect moment to create more awareness with you. Who is secretly obsessed with pile number one, please? Romantic feelings, they are real. They really want you to explore them. This could be the one for you. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. This person in a perfect world, I feel like they would be ready for commitments with you. Like they are very much stuck on you. We have lots of flirtation cycles happening right now. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So lots of flirtation cycles that are happening in this moment. We even have playfulness underneath that one as well. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And that's something that they love to tap into with you because they're very nostalgic when it comes to you. And they're, they're, there's this innocence that they want to break in this connection. Let's get a couple of message cards to see what sort of thoughts and feelings this person is having towards pile number one please who is obsessed secretly obsessed with pile number one what sort of thoughts and feelings are they having i'm trying to make sense of it all I'm, i just need a little bit more time but they keep asking for more and more time and it's just going to keep extending you don't see it but i think you're perfect I gave you the impression that I did not care, and that's a lie. So they're wearing masks around you. I miss you right this second. So you could have this. I don't feel like you're always in, in separation. This is not the overarching theme here is separation. But when they feel like something's missing without you around, you don't know what you do to me because they keep it a secret. I am a glow with thoughts of you. It's a Sarah Harmer song. I am dreaming of you. And in a perfect world, it is you and it is me. Oh, back of the deck says best friends. I miss that. And that, there's such an emphasis here on friendship and on wanting, they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose you to the capacity of which they have you. And that's where a lot of their naysaying energy comes in, where they convince themselves that they're unrealistic about their hopes and goals in this connection. So let's ask Spirit about the future. Are they going to reveal themselves to pile number one in the near future? This person that is secretly obsessed with pile number one, are they going to make themselves known in some way in the near future? We have the High Priestess trying to cultivate the strength they're so concerned about what you think about them, though. They care so much about your opinion. We have the death. They're trying to make plans. I just saw the two of wands. They're afraid of running out of time. 
before they have the courage. There's that five of cups though. They're too focused on what they don't have instead of focusing on the clarity that is necessary. We have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. The truth is, is that I almost feel like you might be the one to express yourself first. The Knight of Swords definitely goes charging forward with, the, with clarity and with truth. Um, but I'm getting the essence that it could be coming from the Divine Feminine Energy. So if you are the Divine Feminine, maybe you're attracted to Divine Feminine Energy. That might resonate with you. You don't have to be, of course. But there, I'm feeling the sense of a passive approach to you that takes too long and then somebody blurts it out or somebody says something that we can't go back from and there's clarity that is brought forward from the divine feminine's perspective it's like she takes on the role of the work that has to be done in order to create clarity in the very least and this opens up the potential to build upon kind of what the two of you have already established you know there's a potential here for somebody watching to move into a very abundant timeline and to be very satisfied with the results overall after communication comes in i do feel like there will be a slight delay here with the seven of pentacles before any progress is made but i feel like in this connection we're kind of used to that delay in this present moment so i feel like there could be clarity that comes in for you pal one and if this clarity is issued in the correct way we could be building upon a connection of friendship we could start to build a foundation together and see where that takes us let's get a charm bowl please for pile number one vice for pile one in the bowl seven of pentacles in the reversal nine of wands six of pentacles this person is holding back because they're really worried about not getting a positive result they're really worried about this karmic loop that they've kind of established with you they've created this karmic wheel with you it's like nothing has really changed over the since the moment that they met you up until this point and that delay is, is creating too much resistance it's creating too many reasons or opportunities for the ego to come in with reasons why it's not going to work out Spirit is saying that this person might be lazy about the approach that they take, which is why I feel like the Divine Feminine might step forward. We do have the chain of events that affect our life. Attachment, Capricorn. We have the letter B. We have also have the two acorns, which is so much potential towards a relationship if the Divine Masculine could just step forward and stop holding on to past belief systems or past insecurity as crutches. We have somebody who thinks very highly of you and they're almost already, again, in a state of mourning preemptively when they don't have to be because they're convinced that you've, you've overlooked them or that you're going to forget about them. We have a forget-me-not. We also have a teddy bear. Again, emphasis on youth. All right, that is what I have for you today, Pile One. If it resonates with you, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, Pile Number Two. You are drawn to the Orange Flower and to the Medicine Woman, and this is your reading. Who is secretly obsessed with you? What action will they take towards you in the future? Now, the immediate impression I get from this Medicine Woman card, immediately I got this impression about an escapism. It's like the Medicine Woman who um, gives us medicine when we're feeling down. So there's a feeling about escapism, that they escape to thoughts of you, perhaps when they're feeling frustrated, when they're feeling anxious. They just seem to use you as an escapism or the thoughts of you or their attraction to empower themselves or to keep themselves safe in some type of way. I'm going to use the Guardian Night Tarot for you to begin your reading. So who is secretly obsessed with pile number two, please? And we'll look at the end to see if they are going to take any action towards you. But who is secretly obsessed with pile number two? There's an emphasis here. Look at how gorgeous this woman is. Her lips, her eyelashes, her eyebrows. There's just something about your eyebrows, perhaps, that are very... It's like they grab attention. You're perhaps one of those people, too, that just really know how to sculpt your eyebrows, really know how to apply makeup to them. I'm not one of those people, so I envy you. So there's just something about the way you put yourself together. I 
and your eyes or something very distinct about them. Who is secretly obsessed with you? Now, you could also perhaps even work in the medical field. So you could be some type of caregiver, some type of healthcare worker as well with the medicine woman. Um, me medicine wisdom card. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. You don't have to be, of course. We have the King of Pentacles. Page of Swords. The Four of Swords. And they're showing me chopped wood. There could be a work connection here between you and this person. We have the Four of Cups. We also have the Emperor. Whoopsie daisy. Let's put that over there. Back of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Oh my goodness. And the Five of Wands. This person, there's definitely a work connection here potentially for someone watching. The beaver is here. There's also a family orientation surrounding the beaver. So this person could perhaps have a family, be a father figure. There's a certain amount of authority that I feel from this person coming through too. And so that can mean that they have a position of authority in your environment or at the work realm perhaps. There's something about the fantasy of you that this person can't get over. And they're defensive about it. Like they keep it hidden. They don't feel like they're capable of having more out of this connection at this very moment. They fantasize about it, but they know they're going to have to move through some big obstacles, some insecurity in the very least to create the change that they want to see in this connection with you. They do watch you in the environment that they know you. They could also watch you online. And this is all very secret. Here's the weasel. It's like a secret energy surrounding you. I will say this, I'm getting this message about the Divine Masculine that's something about being a god or a god in their field or just people putting them up on a pedestal because of who they are, because of what they've established for themselves, what they've created for themselves. They feel like they have a lot to lose and they rely a lot on their reputation to give them the ego boost or the respect that they feel like they deserve. And there could be a very strong institutional energy here. Now, sometimes the Page of Swords is the student with the Hierophant that could be an educational energy. So this could be a teacher. This could be, again, a boss. There could be school or work realm involved. It could even be almost like a teaching hospital or something if you were working in medicine. So please take that as it resonates. Who is secretly obsessed? And this person doesn't feel like they have the ability to commit, to be honest with you. And it's because of their foundations that creates that inability to commit. But when they fantasize about you, they fantasize about everything that they've done in that environment. They fantasize about, I feel like affairs or like physical energy with you. They think about how you would fit in to what do they build for themselves. But they're very self-preserving. They're very protective. Yeah, they're concerned. It's kind of like a hoarding energy. It's like they're kind of a bit greedy when it comes to their feelings for you because they could perhaps have an established family, for instance. Um, they feel like they cannot reveal the truth because otherwise they're, they're putting themselves in a very vulnerable position. Sometimes I feel like this person would act cold around you to kind of throw you off in the past. We have the Ten of Wands. But the weight that they carry and the attraction that they have towards you is very real. It's very palpable. It's supposed to trigger them to respond to it in some way by taking a stand. But you can see that this owl is actually standing on the blade of a sword. And that has to be very uncomfortable. That's very dangerous. We have the lovers here and we do have the justice. So I Libra energy. I'm sorry, Gemini. These guys don't want to stay up. And there's the queen of cups. And the justice speaks about their position and about this position that empowers them and the truth that actually they utilize when it comes to their attraction to you, that truth that empowers them at the same time. And they fantasize a lot, but they have to make a distinctive decision. And this could include, you know, third party decisions. This could include moral choices that they feel like they have to make. And they're trying to be logical. They're trying to be smart about their attraction to you. And this temptation feels very, very real for this person. 
who is secretly obsessed, please. And they can't help but watch you. We have here an older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. They are afraid of changes in their life. We do have Scorpio. We have a lot of Taurus here as well. As I said, Gemini, Libra, Aries. Birth of or conception of a child or enterprise. We have table hard work ahead. So somebody in the work realm perhaps here as well. They could again be a father figure. But you are very highly thought of. And we have here wall misunderstanding. So the same wall that we build to brace ourselves from storms, the same walls that we build to create abundance for ourselves, may be the very walls that kind of hold out the potential for them as well. And we have you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life, the arrow. And I heard straight as an arrow. So somebody who likes to be seen as such, as straight as an arrow, but for somebody who's as straight as an arrow as this person claims to be, and again, a goal-oriented person, I feel like they were caught off guard by this attraction for you. And this attraction for you has kind of made them frustrated about the investments that they have made currently. Like in a perfect world, they would be able to express themselves freely to you, but they, they have just too much fear of the changes that would, that would create. We have here sacred journey, life cycles, family and transformation. So family and commitment could be a factor for this person who is obsessed with you, pal too. An evolution, earth changes, climate changes and transformations. They know that now is not the time. They're too burdened by the unknown and by everything that they would have to go through. They know that now's not the time. They're also in the middle of a cycle. And so they may be waiting for that cycle to come to a close in the hopes that there could be more with you. We have the search though, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. I'm covering her up because YouTube's very strict about their nudity policies and wanting to break free from negative attachments, liberation. Somebody too perhaps needs to be liberated from something to be able to access this attraction that they have towards you, which is very, very strong. It's like I have been trying to manifest our connection. Who is secretly obsessed with pile number two? And in a moment, we're going to see if this person is going to make any sort of action or take any action towards you. I feel like you're my twin flame. I know you're my twin flame. It's like you've lit them up inside. That sparked all of this curiosity, that sparked all of this reflection period. I do want us to be in a relationship. I have been subliminal about how I feel about you. And they feel like they have to be subliminal in order to protect themselves. I do talk about you. So they're not so much secrecy or secret keeping as far as you in their life. Other people may be very well aware of your professional relationship or your um, relationship overall, but it's not, they're not being honest with how they truly feel. I really hate not communicating with you as much as I want to in open, direct, honest ways. On the floor we have, you have influenced me in ways that no one ever has. And I've been doing spell work on you is on the back of that deck. I just heard that song from that one movie that says I put a spell on you and now you're mine. Let's take a look here at the future of this connection. Will this person for pile number two, will they take any action towards pile number two? In revealing themselves this person that is obsessed they keep focusing me on your eyes something enigmatic about them we have the chariot the four of cups this is going to make it very challenging for this person to feel like they can break through the obstacles to be able to create clarity they're really focused on re um, sort of commitment cycles and making decisions based on integrity and they keep they keep saying now is not the time there's going to be at least significant delays they do however wish that they had the courage to be in a relationship with you now will this person ever reveal themselves please 
Four of Wands. Spirit says they might. Yes, they will. Four of Wands is a go card. We also have the Seven of Pentacles in the world, however. They're talking about this person clarifying their feelings for you, but it might take a significant delay for them to be able to express it. They may feel like they can't in this moment and they have to wait to express how they truly feel. Now, this delay that they're creating also creates the potential for the closing of the cycle or for you to walk away. So they are taking a risk in that wait, but for someone watching, there is going to be some type of revelation, some type of spark that they let you in on and that creates a doorway of opportunity. And what you do with this doorway is definitely up to you, but it's going to take some time to come in, that clarity. They're also talking about the internet playing a role here, so maybe they'll be sending you a text message or something to clarify how they truly feel. But when I say timing is going to be an issue, Spirit says for someone watching, this could be a few years in the very least. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. Spice for pile two in the bowl. In the bowl today, we have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Fool. So there's the Nine of Wands who really, really is frustrated because they want, they really, really want to, but they feel like they can't because of being vulnerable or taking too much of a risk. They're talking about this risk, this vulnerability, being a constant companion. So they're very much focused on you and they do watch you in your environment. There could also be a vulnerability surrounding children. Please take that as it resonates be used as a bit of a scapegoat we have ooh get get could be initials as well we also have here the anchor so somebody who feels anchored in their position they do have intentions we have crystal clear intentions um, but they're waiting for the perfect moment to leap they're really fearful of leaping at this moment even though the potential for a relationship is very strong and they're talking about changing directions in order to create the success that they want with you and that's going to take some time all right, pile two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so, so that I can notify you if you're chosen. You can also check out my link for a personal reading from Etsy, and that link is below as well. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the purple flower, and you are drawn to the beautiful bandit, and this is your reading. Who is obsessed with you secretly? Will they make themselves known in the future? And this beautiful bandit card gives me the sense of you stealing their heart, stealing their focus in the present moment. There's an emphasis on number 29, which breaks down to an 11. So there could be a position at work here that is significant or school. Um, there's just this feeling about the place that you have cultivated inside of them as well. And you may be completely unaware of the influence that you have over this person. Her eyes are closed. She's unconcerned. So they feel like you're completely unaware of how they feel how they feel about you and they feel like you're completely unaware of how you empower them in some way too the beautiful bandit does also give this impression of theft <laughs> again of stealing the heart or theft in general <clears throat> so let's take a look here i'm going to use the modern witch tarot for you to begin who is secretly obsessed with pile number three please who is secretly obsessed with pile number three We have the Five of Swords. This person is already conflicted by the feelings that they have towards you. Knight of Wands. Because it's making them want to step outside of their comfort zone in some way, in a very real way, and maybe they don't have the ability to do that right now. Because it feels like they're literally raring to go, raring to explore this connection. And this Five of Swords says that maybe I can't or maybe I shouldn't. And it could just be their ego telling them that you don't care or that you haven't noticed them or that they're fooling themselves in some way. Two of Wands. And there's an emphasis here with this person on being connected to you online, but the two of you being in separate cities or being far apart.
We have the Five of Wands. And they're specifically mentioning COVID. And you could have met this person during COVID or the, the feelings between the two of you could have amped up or this person's feelings for you could have amped up during COVID. It's like maybe something was established during COVID when maybe we were working from home or something. There's just something about they're bringing up the COVID. We have the Page of Cups. We also have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Now let's clarify this message. This person is actually, for somebody watching, they're talking about this attraction that they have for you being kind of taboo in, in a sense of it not being appropriate or they shouldn't like you in this way or they shouldn't want you. That could, again, be where the beautiful bandit comes in. There's something perhaps about your position, about the divine feminine's position, where we are not sure of your position or maybe you're not available or some way. Maybe it's a two-sided situation where neither one of you are available. But they're, they're concerned here about foundations. And I feel like this person's attraction to you was really established during like a lockdown period. We have the King of Cups. And the attraction that this person has towards you is very palpable. Like they feel it. It empowers them. And yet they, because to avoid conflict or arguments, even within themselves, they turn their back upon it. Because they know that they can't act right now. Now is not the time. For somebody in this, either this person is perhaps in a connection, perhaps, but you may also be in a connection in some way. <clears throat> They're saying that now is not the time, but they still have designs and goals and intentions here. We have the star and we have the hermit. But again, maybe you were separated because of COVID for some reason. There's this feeling about being far away and really being focused upon you, almost crushing upon you. We have Virgo energy. And they definitely feel like you are a level up or you are um, out of their league in some way too. That's why they feel like maybe you don't notice them the way that they notice you. Back of the deck is the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Wands. There seems to be some type of competition here um, for focus, for attention from your perspective. They feel like they're in a competition for you in some sort of way. They also feel like perhaps there's a competition for their focus. So there could be two people here that are very in, in very similar situations, you know, where, where foundations are important, where we're building foundations. There could also be a workplace connection here, so please take that as it resonates. I do feel like this person has intention. They do feel like they have intention towards clarity or some type of revelation towards you, whether it be just to create closure and clarity or in a perfect world, a new emotional start with you. But they know that now is not the time, but they're making plans secretly. Like they're making plans tentatively in their mind, in their heart. I do feel like you are currently connected to this person in some way as far as even if you're not physically working with them right now. I feel like you're talking to this person online or you could be chatting back and forth a little bit. There's a flirtation cycle that's existing right this moment. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, we have we have Virgo. We have um, Aquarius energy here as well. Lots of fire too. So they could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Who is secretly obsessed, please, with pile number three? And there's already this feeling about preemptive regret about what they're going to have to go through to achieve more here. They're going to have to really be vulnerable to create the life that they want with you or to create the outcome that they're hoping for with you. They feel like they have to be really creative. This is also the type of person that perhaps is discussed with you, their desire to, to travel or to... It's like somebody who doesn't like to be held down. This could have been something that they discussed with you. We have here, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's the thing that I feel like really gets this person going is the fact that you don't seem like you are feeding into it or they're not sure if you've even noticed them in the present moment. 
even if there is connection between the two of you, they think from your perspective that the two of you are just friends or you just see it as a friendship. But it's the self-respect that you hold, it's the position that you hold, it's the way you carry yourself that makes you very attractive to them. It's almost the fact that you don't just fall into the flirtation, perhaps, that really makes them want to flirt more. You have here deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And we have keep an open mind coming out as well. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. And we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And that's exactly what the star and the hermit asks for is faith on a new course. This person does feel like they have some type of intention towards clarity. But of course we will get there when we ask spirit about the future of this connection and the future of their intentions. Who is secretly obsessed? Please with pile number three. We have arrow, a goal oriented person. This came out in pile number two or one, I believe as well. So it could be a workplace connection here. But it feels like there's a separation now because of lockdowns and maybe we never went back to the office or something. There's just something about still being separated or it being established during lockdown. We have September, Virgo. Who is secretly obsessed, please? With pile number three. An older man. Just saw you are very highly thought of. As I said, they feel like it's kind of taboo to want you in some way, too. We have family wishes that come true and hidden secrets that will harm you. There could be a commitment cycle here, a foundation um, for, for this person. And beware of self-delusion, the dragon. We also have firecracker excitement, and that's what you represent. You excite this person. You wake them up inside. You know, if they are sort of passive in their emotional approach, all of a sudden we have this knight of wands who wants to go charging towards fire and charging towards fulfilling an instant gratification when it comes to you. So you excite this person very, very much. Let's get some messages about their perspective on their feelings, please, spirit. I just want clarity. I just want space. But it's the Six of Swords, wanting the truth. Perhaps wanting space from their conflict, wanting space from the obstacles and the reasons why they feel like they can't take action towards you. I miss you. Do you miss me? There's also this emphasis with the beautiful bandit of kind of them passing the buck of like eliminating their responsibility for, for having these feelings for you. It's like, I couldn't help it. You came in with your energy and just stole all my focus. I sometimes wonder if you even care. And I feel like if they knew for certain what your feelings are or whether or not you were also feeling the same way about them because you may not this is just somebody who's obsessed with you that they would perhaps start to execute some type of movement cycle for themselves i feel the same way it's coming in reverse because they don't know if they have that support yet and you make me want to do bad things the devil 15 but i need time for me now, I just paused you, Pile 3, because I instantly got this insane itch on my foot. And you know, one of those itches that you just can't seem to scratch. It's like you're scratching to the bone and you can't let it go. That's, I feel like that's appropriate for the person on your mind today because it's like an itch that they want to scratch, but they just can't get there. They just can't get there because there's attachment. You make them want to do bad things. You make them want to step outside of their commitment cycles, but it's like they're turning the back buck towards you because they're like, you stole my heart. So it's not my fault. You stole my heart. I need time for me is the four of swords. And they're really speaking about the necessity to deal with the reality of the 3d situation before they can take any action towards you. So let's ask spirit about that. Will this person take any actions to reveal themselves to pile number three, please? We have the judgment. We have the chariot. We have a lot going on here, though. We have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Lover is showing itself to me in this moment. And that's the death cycle with the Ten and the, and the Three. So there definitely could be third party here. We'll put that down. 
So that's going to definitely affect the momentum. They're being pulled in different directions at this moment and they were really reflecting a lot about the perfect time, place. There's this feeling about waiting for a release of a cycle to avoid heartbreak in other relationships perhaps to create a new plan of action towards their goal. But they're working on it. They're working on the inspiration that leads them to do the put in the effort to create changes in their life. But I feel like they're waiting for a cycle to end before they do. So there could be a significant wait before this person re reveals themselves to you. But they do have intentions. There's the three of cups. They want to ask you out. There's something different about you that they really want to tap into. They really want to ask you out. And Spirit's saying that they feel inspired to make that change, but they have a lot of work ahead of them to be able to execute it. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. The last thought this person had about pile three in the bowl. The Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of commitment energies here today for the collective. A lot of opportunity that's popping up outside of commitment cycles. And that's sort of a collective energy right now, I'm feeling. And a lot of my private readings as well. Just a lot of co a collective you know, commitment cycles <laughs> that are being questioned, that are coming to close. There's opportunity amidst a, co a connection that we've already established. And so there's something about this person's integrity or their focus that's being put into question when it comes to the opportunity that they see with you. And they're really thinking about that, about bringing forward an offer, but then questioning the step that they're taking. Is it in alignment with their integrity? We, whoop. let's see, it's a letter. It's an R. We have special and we have M. We have here the letter V. I think of V for victory. I think about the Hierophant. We also have these divine feminine stiletto heel. It's like looking at things um, from above. And embracing the in-between right now, we have special and we have the seahorse. But we also have here the rocking horse, so I think of children and family, commitment cycles as well that could be holding back potential or the change that's necessary. We have the hand of Hamza as well and a music note. So music could be significant. All right, pile number three. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell. And be sure to check out my link below for Etsy for a personal reading. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you have a great day.